hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today i have this very simple very basic beginner friendly makeup tutorial for you guys i asked on my community tab what kind of beginner friendly makeup look you guys would want to see and mostly everyone said a simple easy one shadow type of tutorial and baby this is about as simple as it's going to get for me okay i know not everybody is going to want to wear false eyelashes with like a simple everyday even work appropriate makeup routine but listen I had to do something to jazz this look up because I am not used to going this simple on my eyes I always have something going on on my eyes whether it's multiple eyeshadows even if the look is all matte whether it's multiple eyeshadows or some shimmer or something so you know if you don't want to wear false eyelashes or they're not something that you're into obviously just skip that part of the tutorial but I had to do something to jazz this look up because it's a bit basic even for me even for every day for work for me okay because I even wear more makeup than this to work every day and that's saying a lot because i'm active duty military okay so yeah this is as simple as it's gonna get and i actually really like it i don't think the lashes are too much because like i explained in the video these are like very natural looking lashes they kind of give off the lash extension vibe so i don't think they're doing too much but if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, sis, because I had to do something, okay? But I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial overall and you learn something from it. And I hope that it's easy enough to follow along. I tried to break down every step and tell you why I was doing something. I talked about the brushes and the tools that I use, as well as all of the products. Everything in this tutorial is drugstore, as in you can go out and get it right now from Ulta, I believe. I think every single thing that I used in this tutorial, you can go and get it from Ulta right now, or you can go and get something very very similar from Ulta right right now I didn't use anything high-end so yeah like this is a whole beginner friendly tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into the video so let's get started I already have my eyebrows done because I feel like eyebrows are a very personalized and individualized type of thing you really have to find what works best for you and your eyebrows because you have some people whose eyebrows are already like in a really nice shape so all they need to do is just fill them in and make them darker and probably fill in some sparse um, spots but then you have people like me who don't really have an eyebrow shape don't really have a tail or anything like that so I kind of have to draw my perfect shape and then shape them out with concealer and things like that so I feel like you really need to figure out and and tailor your eyebrow routine to your face and how your eyebrows are already sitting and everything like that one thing I can say is that you can probably go to Ulta to your benefit brow counter and have them help you to find an actual shape so that you know how to draw your eyebrows on you know how to put your arch and everything like that you know how far to bring down your tail or how out to bring down your tail everything like that to fit your face so yeah I don't I don't show people how to do eyebrows because it really is an individualized type of thing but anywho we're gonna move into the face I usually always do my eyes first but since you guys requested this one shadow look we're gonna do um, the face we're gonna start with that so no matter what type of makeup look I'm doing regardless of whether it's supposed to be a natural makeup look an everyday makeup look whether I'm going to work or an event or out on the weekends or something like that I always use a primer you need to use a primer regardless of what kind of skin type you have normal oily dry combo you need to use Use a primer because if you're wondering why your makeup looks like makeup or why your skin isn't as smooth as it should be or whatever the case may be why your foundation is sinking into your pores or your lines or everything like that is because you need a primer you need a primer and primer does not have to be expensive you just need to find the one that works for your skin tone so I have super oily skin so I love to actually double prime so that I can get all of the benefits that I need for my skin so I'm gonna be using the elf power grip primer which is a dupe for the hydro grip primer and basically this is a gripping primer that grips your makeup it like really locks on and anchors down the foundation that you put on top of it so this is holy grail status for me y'all know if y'all see any of my other makeup tutorials I'm always using the elf uh, jelly pop primer or the mint melt primer or whatever because those are gripping primers just like this one it's the exact same thing I just have different ones cuz I don't know I like makeup so I have a lot of different ones so yes definitely a gripping primer if you want your makeup to actually last and hold onto your skin this is great for hot weather events 
photo shoots, all of that. And then I'm also gonna be using the Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. This is a really inexpensive but great primer. It's a silicone texture, so if you're not into silicone, you won't like this. But this is a smoothing primer, and when it says smoothing, it's smoothing. It does everything that it needs to. It fills in my pores, lines, flaws, like everything. This blurs it out and smooths my makeup onto my skin, and plus it's mattifying, so it's also going to help me to not be oily, and it's not going to make my foundation look super, super glossy on the skin because I personally do not like that i know everybody is going for like that skin like finish with their makeup but child i already have a skin like finish with my naturally oily skin so yeah no i'm going for the matte look and then when my oils try to come through at the end of the day then i have more of a skin like makeup look so this primer gets super super tacky on the skin as it should because it's going to grip everything that you put on top of it which is what we're looking for because regardless of if your makeup is supposed to be everyday wear you still want it to look good and wear throughout the day and if you don't then that's on you i'm gonna let that primer sit on my skin for a minute and then we're gonna go in with this primer and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm going to apply it and then i'm gonna let it sit for a minute so for this primer i kind of mainly focus it on areas that i want to be smoother than others so like right in between my eyebrows of course on my nose a little bit under my eyes my cheeks especially above my lip and then on my chin so this primer doesn't necessarily go everywhere. It may look like I'm putting it everywhere, but it really just goes in like strate strategic spots. While I'm waiting for that to sit, the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. If you've seen any of my other makeup tutorials, I love this foundation. It's a medium coverage foundation, which for me, I love a medium to full coverage foundation, even though I don't need it. I just love a medium to full coverage foundation. That's just what I like for my makeup preference and my makeup style. But I like the fact that this one is a soft focus foundation. So it kind of gives your skin like this blurred out effect, which works perfectly with this Ulta Beauty Smoothing Primer so now you have like double the effect on your face that's going to make you look more smooth and more skin like more porcelain like so this is great for pictures this is great for events like I said so that's the foundation that I'm going to be using and I have mine in the shade filter rich 28 and then I'm also going to be using the matching concealer and we're not going to do any cream contouring today because I wanted to keep this tutorial as basic as possible as simple as possible so we're not going to do any cream contouring so we're really just going to be using the concealer to conceal and brighten so for all of my foundations I like to do two pumps on the back of my hand and that's regardless of whether I have a full coverage foundation um, a medium coverage a light coverage it doesn't matter I always go in with two pumps of foundation because just for my face I feel like that's enough for me for the type of look that I go for that's enough for me so I like to pump it on the back of my hand and then I just use my finger to go ahead and smooth it all over the skin now, whatever your preference for makeup application is, you can go ahead and do that. But for me, a sponge is much faster, especially if this is supposed to be like a get up and go type makeup look, a work type makeup look, a you're running late type makeup look. I think a sponge blends everything out much better and like faster. So one layer of foundation is enough for me to look flawless. So like I said, we're gonna go in with concealer. Now I like to highlight my entire face. If you don't like to highlight your entire face, then obviously just do what works for you and skip this part. But I like to go on my chin, on my cupid's bow, down my nose, on my forehead right here in the middle and then of course under the eyes you don't have to do a whole lot of concealer but for me personally I feel like concealer is what makes a makeup look so you know just tailor this look to what it is that you want to accomplish with your makeup And then also with this concealer, I'm actually going to do two layers because this concealer is very like liquidy. It's definitely a good coverage concealer, but I love layering this concealer because of the texture that it is. I feel like it just makes my face look flawless when I do two coats of this concealer. So that's what I'm going to be doing once again. Do what you want with your makeup, like tailor it to you. Also, because this is such a quick, easy makeup look, I'm gonna blend this concealer on top of my eye. We're not gonna go in with any eyeshadow primer today because it's actually not necessary since we're only gonna be putting one color on the eye. So it's not necessary to do a whole like layer of 
um, eyeshadow primer. And now I'm going in with my second coat. So now if you have oily skin like I do, I highly suggest baking. Do not be afraid of baking. Do not think that you're going to have flashback or your makeup is going to be cakey or anything like that. Like it just depends on how you do it. I definitely say baking is a must for long wearing makeup and if you have oily skin. So what you're first going to want to do is blend out all of the creases under your eye. I have little fine lines so I have to make sure that I blend that out. And then you're going to want to dip your sponge into the powder. It should look something like this. And then you're going to want to press that powder in first. So you're setting down that liquid concealer so that when you go in to bake, the powder doesn't just sit on top of that like sticky liquid concealer. So you're going to just want to go in and set everything that you just basically highlighted and you want to pat that powder in so that when you bake it doesn't stick and then you're going to want to take that powder and you're going to want to push it into the skin like so and then just let it sit and don't be afraid to let this sit you guys it's not gonna look crazy i promise if you do the steps that i'm doing also go ahead and set your eyelid so that um the concealer that you put on your eyelid is increasing and then you can even bake your eyelids as well if you have like oily or creasy eyelids so we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit while we do the rest of the face now to actually set the rest of my face I'm gonna be using this NYX can't stop won't stop mattifying powder this powder is amazing not only does it give you like an extra layer of coverage but it's so lightweight and it's finely milled that it just gives you this flawless filter setting on your skin like it sets everything down and it doesn't look like super powdery or cakey or anything like that it kind of just looks flawless but to make it look even more flawless what you're going to want to use is a brush like this this is actually from bh cosmetics but most brush brands have a brush like this it's literally like a powder brush it's not necessarily flat it's more of a rounded top powder brush but you just need something big to cover your face and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stamp the brush into the powder and the same way that you're stamping the brush into the powder you're going to want to stamp the powder into your face i see a lot of people when they're like blending their makeup either with a sponge or with a brush they're always like swiping like this no you want to push the product into your skin because that's what's really going to actually set the makeup like that's what's going to set everything in place you swiping it around is kind of disturbing the base that you already put down so you want to pat like just pat it and I'm gonna mainly leave that powder that's under my eyes. I'm gonna leave that baking while I like do the rest of my face. You wanna just push the product into your skin and that's what's gonna give you long lasting makeup. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm gonna be using this Juvia's Place bronze palette. Mine is in the shade tan and I'm gonna be using the darker color for my actual like face bronzer and then I'm gonna be using this lighter color for like the eyeshadow and then my nose contour. The brush I'm gonna be using for this is a Live Glam brush. This is the same company that I always Always, wow my hands are so dry this is the same company that I always talk about with the liquid lipsticks and things like that like you guys always compliment me on my lip combos and everything and majority of the time I'm using some of their liquid lipsticks they also have a brush subscription as well where you get different brushes every month so this is their 208 brush and it's basically like an angled bronzer brush y'all can see that it's dirty because I use it all the time so I'm just going to dip into that darker color and I'm gonna load up my brush with it and just with a light hand like a really light hand I'm going to start to blend in my actual like bronzer slash contour I like to bronzer basically where I use my bronzer as a contour because I don't like using cool tone products for a contour I just like my skin to be bronzed and brown and like you know like I'm a melanated goddess melanated queen so I just use bronzer and I put that underneath my jaw and on my neck as well so everything comes together and then I'm going to bronze around my forehead and by the tail end of my brows to like bring everything together to give that structure okay and then you can skip this step as well but just to give a little bit more structure I'm gonna go from the corners of my mouth 
upwards to kind of clean up this bronzer area but i'm not going to drag it all the way back to my ear i just want to kind of like make this part more defined so you guys are going to see just watch and see So just like that so you guys kind of see how from the corners of my mouth it goes up to where the bronzer is i like to define that a little bit more so now i'm going to take this brush right here this is just a small powder brush like a pointed tapered powder brush and i'm going to use this to kind of push and wipe away the powder that's under my eyes and for this step if you feel like your skin looks powdery or you know more powdery than you would like it to this is where you can go in with either MAC fix plus or you can use the morphe continuous setting mist i'm actually all out of mac fix plus so i'm going to use my morphe setting mist and this is going to take down the powderiness this is going to make everything look more natural and more skin like basically so i'm just going to go ahead and hit my face and then i have my little fan here to help this dry down so after that's dry, like I said, because I like more of a matte look and the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist does give you like a little bit of glow to your face, I'm gonna hit my skin one more time with the powder brush. I'm not um, putting any extra additional powder on my face. I'm just using what was left over on the brush and I'm just going over everything, including my eyelids because now we're going to go ahead and use that bronzer on our lids. So I'm taking the lightest shade and I, typically do not do makeup looks like this like i just personally feel like as a makeup lover and makeup enthusiast doing a look like this with just bronzer on my eyes takes away from me being able to do like you know really fun or creative or shimmery looks that i love so much because i mean i have like 150 eyeshadow palettes what's the point of having all of those palettes if i'm just going to do a really basic one shadow look or put bronzer in my crease you know like it's not letting me express who I am so this type of makeup look is not for me y'all never see me do makeup looks like this with just bronzer in my crease it's not fun for me and it doesn't let me express myself creatively so it's just not my thing but I'm taking that bronzer and I'm putting it all over my crease for a structure and then as you guys see I'm bringing it to my nose bone right here so we can just go right into contouring and the brush i'm using is from morphe this is the m503 it's a nice blending brush for the crease it's nice to go ahead and use as your nose contour brush because it fits like right in this socket area and now to go ahead and define my lash line because as y'all saw in the beginning of the video i am going to be wearing lashes you could definitely skip this step if you're not going to be wearing lashes but i'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and i'm basically just going to smudge that along my lower lash line i mean my upper lash line this actually um can give you more definition even if you're not wearing lashes but you don't necessarily need to do this step i'm just doing it because i am going to put on a pair of false eyelashes for my actual waterline i'm using a dark brown liner as well this one is from la girl i don't think they make this anymore i got it from ulta again any dark brown liner will work the lashes today that I'm using are from Kiss. These are the Lux Extensions Ultimate Lash Extension Look Lashes in the style Royal Silk. When I'm going natural, these are about as natural of lashes as I can get because y'all know I like my lashes to be big and I like them to be noticeable and everything. But these are actually a nice style of lash that I do really like and they do really give off the like lash extension vibe if your lash extensions are more on the smaller side. So I would highly recommend these as beginner lashes for sure. While that glue is drying on my lashes, I'm going to put a coat of mascara on. If you're having a hard time putting on lashes and you're struggling you definitely want to put on a coat of mascara because like you'll just be able to place the lashes on top of your lashes better if you already have a coat of mascara on because you'll really be able to see where and how to place the lashes to fit onto your natural lashes okay and then tweezers are the best tool to help you actually apply your lashes so you're gonna want to grip the middle part of the lashes like just go ahead and grip the lash band right in the middle like 
just like that and you're going to want to place the lashes at the very base of your lash line and press that middle piece press it on so it stays and then you're going to want to grab the end piece and press that one on and then grab the front piece and place that as well they really do look like lash extensions to me like i've had tons of compliments from people you know asking where i got my lashes done and i'm like oh these are strips i put these on myself okay so now i'm going to take that same bronzer that i use on my eyes on like a little pencil brush and i'm going to smudge that along my lower lash line to give definition to the lower lash line because i just like everything to be cohesive so for blush, I'm going to keep it natural. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to be using this ColourPop Such a Rush Cheek Palette. This is also available at Ulta. It comes with a highlight, a bronzer, and then two blushes. These blushes are more on the natural side for like brown skin. So I'm just going to take the first blush right here because it's the lighter one. And I'm going to stamp again. St I'm stamping it. I'm not swirling it. I'm going to stamp that on to my cheeks. And this kind of has like a blushy berry tone to it, but we're blending it in with the contour. So it doesn't look really, really stark against the contour, but you guys can clearly see it. So now I'm going to hit the bottom lashes with some mascara. Okay, so lower lash mascara is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and add highlight. So this is the CoverGirl Super Blend no true blend super stunner highlight and mine is in the shade gilded glory and i'm gonna use just a tiny blending brush this is a morphe m532 i'm gonna use this tiny blending brush to just go ahead and apply this on my cheeks to give me some glow because even with a natural look, I love to have my skin glowing. And you know, when I just turn, it hits the light and it looks good. I love that, so. And I'm actually also going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't feel like getting another brush. So. Okay, so for lips, let me wipe off this uh, lip plumper. So I'm first gonna go in with my lip liner. This is my absolute favorite lip liner. This is my go-to. Unfortunately, I think it's been discontinued. This is the ColourPop X Makeup Shayla um, Lippy Pencil in BFF4, but um, the Morphe Trendsetter Lip Liner is like really, really similar. You just need a dark brown lip liner that's more on the reddish side. So for my actual lipstick, I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place lipstick. This is one of their new ones. This is in Nubian Sand. It's from their like nude collection. And this one is kind of like a caramel nude brown. And then for my gloss, I'm going to go over the top of that with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Topaz, which is a dupe for Fenty Glow. Okay, so I think that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and apply my setting spray. This is the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last setting spray. I'm going to go off camera and redo my hair. I'm going to put on my clothes and everything, and then I will come back to show you guys the completed look. All right, you guys, so this is the end of this in-depth makeup look. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was very informative, and I actually showed you guys how you can apply your makeup. So, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it. If you're new, sis, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.